Yep, hello traders. Uh, this week we're going to be looking at the weekly analysis for the coming week, which is going to be starting on 27th of May and going to end on 31st of May. This week is the last week of May, so let us go back and look on what is anticipation for the coming week. Yeah, and the first pair is Zao USD, and on Zao USD we'll be focusing on the bullish direction. And the reason behind for fo focusing on the bullish direction is because of the broken, or because of the of the channel which was formed in the past weeks. So we're still anticipating the market will continue moving up. But for the coming week, we'll be waiting for this trend line to be broken. When it is broken, we wait for every test, and after the test is when we're going to get our entry toward the, the green zone. So, for the coming week, we're going to be looking on the bullish direction for this pair, and this pair is now USD, and this time from is H4. Let us move to another pair which we're going to be looking for the coming week. And the next pair is Kachif. Yeah, Kachif, Kachif. On Kachif, we're going to be looking on the selling opportunity next uh, next week. As we can see, there is a trend line which has been broken. And this trend line will wait for a clear retest for the coming week. After the market pulls back until this level, we're going to be looking for a bullish, a bearish direction so that you can be selling it for the coming week. And the reason behind we'll be selling it is because of the rectangle formation. Rectangle formation. Rectangle formation at this point. So the market has just consolidated as touched like two times. So we're anticipating for it to continue dropping. And our targets, our targets going to be our targets can be seen clearly in daily, and in daily, this is daily time frame, Kachif daily time frame. Uh, our target is on this point, and this is because of the formation of the double tops in day one time frame. This is day one time frame, so we're anticipating it to continue moving down. Yep, this is Kachif. Let us look for another week analysis, for the coming week analysis. Another pair which you're going to be looking at is Audi JPY. On Audi JPY, when we look on the daily time frame, we can see that there was a was like a wedge formation, which was broken. So still anticipating that price will continue moving down on the daily time frame. And when we move to smaller time frame, which is H4, this is JPY on daily time frame. And when we move to H4, H4, we can see a clear, a clear pattern of a rectangle, rectangle or consolidation, just a consolidation. So we we are anticipating that the price will break down and retest this zone and continue moving down. Uh, whatever the case, this is a high probability and high direction. But if it breaks this trend line. What will be the next move? The next move will be it will come to this point and break a retest. That means we'll be trading double bottoms. But high probability it will be moving down. And the reason behind is because of the reversal pattern in the H4 time frame, which was seen for the past weeks. Yeah, this head and shoulder pattern. So it will continue moving down as we believe. So we'll be looking for our entry for the coming week below this zone. In the, the top of this zone, this is a point where we'll be looking for our opportunity. For those who use pending orders, you can place them after the market has opened, or you may look for a gap, the direction which the gap has gone, then we may confirm your entry. Yep, another pair which you're going to be this is our JPY on H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at is Chief JPY. Yeah, on Chief JPY, we are still anticipating it to continue moving up. And the reason behind is because the market has already broken this downtrend and has retested it very well. Now, what are we anticipating? Anticipating that it will continue moving up. And the reason behind for it to continue moving up is because of the formation of head and shoulder. If you have good eyes, you can see it by yourself at this point. There was a first shoulder formation, second head then shoulder, then it came this way. So it has come to this way. We are anticipating it to continue moving up toward this point. So we'll be looking for buying opportunity uh, when the market opens at this point toward that point. 
Then from there, we'll be looking for a selling opportunity downwards. Yep. For those who trade gra a flag, it's uh, like a flag formation. Yep. This is Chef JPY, and this is H4 time frame. Let us move to another pair which we're going to be focusing on the coming week. Uh, it's Euro JPY. It's Euro JPY. And on Euro JPY also, we, still, we, we, we face some consolidation for this week. So we are still also waiting for a clear pattern or a clear breakout from these two zones. If it breaks at the top or it breaks at the bottom. But the high probability it will break down since there was a formation of double tops. Double tops. Yeah, double tops, these ones. Double tops. Because of the formation of the double tops. And it was retested. So we are we are on the neck, still on the neck we are on the neck consolidation of the of the double tops. So the high probability will continue going down. But if it breaks the upper zone, that means we'll be having double bottoms, clear double bottoms formation. So we wait for a clear retest, then we continue moving up with it. So even if it continue it breaks up it won't go far away. It will just move to this point, up to this targeted point. Then from there, we'll be expecting a down move. So our entry point for selling, it will be below this zone or at this point. Yep. This is Euro JPY and this is H4 time frame. H4 time frame. We'll be selling it. Let us look on the daily. We'll be selling it, expecting it to break this trend line here, which started from this side. Yeah. Yep, uh, let's move to another pair which you're going to be looking at for the coming week. This is Euro JPY. We'll be looking at GBB JPY. Yep, at GBB JPY. And for GBB JPY in daily time frame, we'll continue selling it as the market structure says so. And this is because of the reversal pattern, clear reversal pattern which was observed at this side. Of consolidation so we are still anticipating it will come down toward this trend line or it will touch that support or resistance yep uh, when we move to h4 to h4 time frame this is daily time frame when we move to h4 time frame when we move to h4 time frame we can see a clear retest of the broken support or resistance so we might have a clear entry so that we can start selling from the coming week uh, yep this is GBB JPY. GBB JPY. Let's focus you on it for the coming week. Another pair which you're going to be looking at for the coming week is NZD JPY. Yep, on NZD JPY, we'll also be looking for a selling opportunity. Uh, uh, and the reason behind is because of the complete, uh, com completeness of, the, of this. We want to complete the pattern, the pattern or the, the market structure of the wage formation, which formed at this point. Which formed at this point. So we are still believing that it must come back and touch this point. So for this coming week, we'll be looking for a selling opportunity on this pair. Just a small move. When we move to daily, we can look at it. Yeah, just a small down move. So we are expecting it to move to, toward this point. When it, it reaches this point, we'll be looking for a bullish direction. But for this coming week, we are targeting a selling opportunity from this pair of NZD JPY, and this one is daily time frame. And when you look in, on H4, it is clearly showing that the price it's it's in the consolidation so what are we in, uh, anticipating anticipating you to come back and touch this trend line from there we look for a selling opportunity then move down with it yep and this is in the djpy let us focus on the another pair which we'll be looking at another pair is usd jpy yep on usd jpy we'll be looking for a selling opportunity as you remember we had also a wedge at this side we had a wedge at this side, a wedge formation, which I expect that it will continue falling to at this point. Yeah. Uh, so for the coming week, we still believe it's continue, it will continue dropping, and the reason behind is because of the of the formation of 
double tops double tops so what are we anticipating to look for it will drop down to at this point to at, from this point from this point as it has already been retesting this green zone so we are anticipating that it will, it will continue moving ah, down 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 and down so this is your CGPY and this is H4 time frame yep we will be looking for a selling opportunity when you look it on on another side on daily time frame yeah the market structure can be seen very clearly so we are anticipating it to continue moving down yeah we are anticipating this triangle to be broken on the downside that is our anticipation yep let us focus on another another pair another pair which you're going to be looking at after your CJPY it's card JPY yep on card JPY on daily time frame we are still looking for a bearish direction as the clear formation of double tops can be observed and apart from that there is also like a triangle formation which has been broken on this daily time frame so when we move to smaller time frame of H4 this is where we'll be getting our clear entries of double tops and this time we'll be waiting for a breakout of of this brown of this purple zone or we will be looking for selling opportunity after the the clear formation of entry at this yellow zone like a yellow zone so for the coming week we'll be looking for a selling opportunity on card gpy and this is h4 time frame let us move on to another to another pair which you're going to be looking at another pair which you're going to be looking at is euro audi yep on euro audi we're still looking we're still looking for a bullish the election and this is h4 time frame and the reason behind for us to be looking for a bullish the election is because of the of the triangle breakout everybody knows triangle this triangle breakout of which market consolidated inside now it has broken so we're anticipating it to continue moving up 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 and up uh, but for the coming week we'll be looking for a bullish direction bullish direction uh, but yeah. and it, uh, otherwise if it breaks this trend line we'll wait for a retest then we we'll move down toward this point then from there we we'll move up with it the reason for us to move down is because of clear double tops which have already been seen just waiting for a confirmation of the broken of the neck then we we'll move it to a year then high side but when we focus on the daily on the daily view we are still anticipating it's like a simple retest of the broken support or resistance so we're anticipating it to continue moving up toward this point yep this is your audi on the daily view daily view as you can see it on the daily view another pair which you're going to be looking at is euro usd yep for euro usd on the daily daily view we can see like a wedge formation so what uh, what is coming on our head is that it will continue moving up but as we go to smaller time frame like h4 as a smaller time frame like h4 we can observe that if we get a, an, an entry confirmation at this point we'll be selling it toward this brown zone while waiting for a clear retest then we will continue selling it but if it fa it fails to, to move down and it breaks that trend line and that brown support or resistance we are anticipating that these are uh, uh, double bottoms and if are double bottoms everybody knows that it will continue moving up this is a reversal pattern reversal pattern so the direction of an up move will already be started yeah but the high probability entry is this point we will be looking for a selling opportunity toward that point yep another pair this is euro usd and uh, on h4 another pair which we'll be focusing at is euro card yep on euro card for the coming week we'll be looking for a bullish direction as the reason behind is because of the uptrend which is being seen here and because of the double bottoms which are still consolidating so we're anticipating that price will retest here clearly and continue moving up and the reason behind for it to continue moving up is because of the double bottoms 
which I've already shown there. Uh, and where will we be looking for entries? First entry, we'll be looking for when the market opens, we we'll look for a good opportunity at this point so that you can buy toward that point. But also, the second entry which you're going to be looking at, it's going to be at this point. It's going to be at this point after the retest, at this zone. Then we'll be looking toward that point. So we can get our first entry, our second entry, then waiting for take profit at that point. Uh, after that, we will also wait for if it market succeed to break and retest this green zone, we will be looking up, what move toward the direction of the double bottoms. For those who don't know how to trade double bottoms, you can consult us for training. Yep. Another another pair which we're going to be looking at, apart from Eurocard, is Eurochief. Yep. On Eurochief, we are continuing looking for a bearish direction as for those who trade triple tops the cycle has already been completed but still we're anticipating continue having a down move on this pair and the reason behind can be seen on the daily time frame yep on the daily time frame as everybody can see we had a, a good head and shoulder at this point shoulder head shoulder and price has consolidated for a long period of time. So we're anticipating that if price breaks this this support or resistance, this one, then we'll continue having a down move toward this point. Yeah, toward this point. This is our targeted area, this purple zone. So for the coming week, we'll be looking for a selling opportunity on this pair because it has consolidated for a long period of time. This is your chief. Yep. Another pair which you're going to be looking at is EuroGPB. Yeah, this EuroGPB is still anticipating that it will, it will move down a little, then from there we will be moving up with it. Yeah, we have reached uh, EuroGPB, yeah, we have reached to a point whereby the price seems as rich on the big support or resistance. And when we look at the market structure, we have a shoulder, we have an head, which consolidated for a long period of time. Now what we are anticipating is that it will come to form a shoulder then continue moving up. So for the coming week, high probability entry will be looking for a selling opportunity at this point. At this point, then we will sell it toward this zone here, this brown zone, then we will be looking for a bullish direction. But if it breaks this support, we wait for a clear test then continue moving up with it. So, but for the coming week, the high probability entry is Euro GPB is going down, then it will pull back up. Yep. Another pair which we'll be focusing on for the coming week, apart from Euro GPB, which is the last one, Euro NZ. Yeah, for Euro NZ, we'll be looking for a, a selling opportunity. And the reason for looking for a selling opportunity, we are still anticipating that we have to. This was the head, and. We had the shoulder, I mean this, that, that was the first shoulder, first shoulder of head and shoulder. Then we have a shoulder also, a head. Now we are anticipating that place is coming back to form, it, to form back a last shoulder so that it can continue moving up. It can continue moving up. Uh, and also by looking at clear pattern formation, the, short, the first shoulder has already been formed. The first shoulder for the reversal for selling has already been formed, and we have a head. We are waiting for a clear second shoulder so that you can continue moving down with it. Yep, this is high probability direction for the coming week on Euro NZ. It will be selling. Yep, so you are with me, Kashebo FX. And don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe in our Telegram channel. If you have any question, you face some cost, some 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 serious problems in this industry you can consult us so that we can give you some good advice which will help we, we, we hope it will help you from one point to another remember we still provide account management training and account management training and signal service so you can contact us and you can benefit from what we are giving out happy paper chasing week traders